Jesus, we may start in Lord. Let us speak up. He's no stranger to us. A prophet. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Anyone in here can attest that this man that is coming to deliver the word is a prophet. Lift those hands. Anybody with a testimony that attests that this man is a prophet. Yes, the Lord. Everybody in this room, so please stand. As long as you're under this roof, please stand. As long as you're under this household, please stand. Comment to deliver the night's messages are Metropolitan Primary Chief Apostle, Dr. Anthony Foster, the peer of the Holy Ghost. Come on, give Jesus a good praise.
hands who have the worship. Receive. Amen. Amen. the flow and the Spirit given up to that. Praise the Lord. This is some young people who said, if you even in the back of the church, you cannot receive your own fire. Praise God. Let us take time out to greet our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to our regional Bishop, Marilyn Grace, to our district Bishop, Bryce Campbell, Amen. District Bishop, Brendan Carr, to our presiding of elders, to our elder and our pastors, to our evangelist, Matt and Deaconist, missionary mothers and archers members, prior warrior, all your officers, friends, and loved ones, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. He is our King. Praise the Lord. Let me just do this very quickly. Our sister is going back to Canada. Praise God. We just want to give her all right and a fellowship before she leaves. Come, my sister in the Lord. Whenever you have ties, you shine the body of Christ. Whenever we give you a right hand fellowship, it means you are now part of the sacred Lord, spiritual church of Jesus Christ International. Amen. We have already a member in Canada, Minister Walker is from Canada. Amen. And we are Big um, Missionary Brown, Deaconess Brown, Amen, and Missionary Jennifer, praise God. So, Canada, um, I believe our Ambassador Bishop, Amen, our Beckford boy in Canada, and she carried Canada who is there and they take picture and all that. So, we, we are heading in Canada, Amen. We are ready in Canada. Come to the ministry for God's time is faster. Amen. And shall we all our way to Jamaica to be baptized and be a part of us of the Lord's leader. Hallelujah to God. God has put a zeal in her. She has a deep zeal for the kingdom, especially the revival kingdom. Our roots. Somebody praise the Lord. Let me hear praise the Lord. Amen. As we always did, if anyone know any crime or infection, when any of well, my dear sister should not receive a red in the village of Satan now, or forever hold your peace. I don't think anybody is, is, is here to have anything to say anyway, but I still have to say. That we all love you. Say, just by the night, we love you. One, two, three. We love you. Put your hand together and say the name. Hallelujah. 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 My sister, so in every organization or in the company, there are rules and regulations and by law. Amen. Do you willing to obey the rules and the regulations by law and honor those who are highly in authority over you? Will you walk in obedience to the word of God? Do you believe in the Bible, the word of God, and everything that we do, we are able to can go with the Bible. Nothing that we do with God is in the Bible. Hallelujah to God. Do you willing to obey and walk in obedience to what you did right after signing? Say yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. I see even signing as a member of the Sacred Heart Spiritual Church of Jesus Christ in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. Who the Lord has given unto us, let no man take it away. Receive the light of God, take the candle. Receive the light of God to show that you are passed from darkness into marvelous light. Everybody, let your light so shine. Let me write and everybody point as it's in your chief of pastor, which is going to only pastor. Give you my right and a fellowship. In the name of our Lord, in this sacred our speech of church of Jesus Christ International, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Put you up together. Welcome, welcome, welcome.
see some people who just come in late. We don't, we don't want that for you to give your offering. We see some people coming late. We can have the usher to go and with your offering late. We don't want you to have God at all. Amen. We are getting in the word. We are getting in the word. Amen. And we are really, amen, talking about look carefully. Be careful. Don't just do things. Get there. Amen. 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 The word is here. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Amen. You ready? Amen. Let me hear you say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, 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 I teach a little bit about Barbara chapter 13 and 4. We tell about the word of it, not to be lazy. And I show you where you need to be active first. Yes, if you don't have to deal, the enemy will defeat you. And we're going to go in very deeply, knowing to it. I want to close. Amen. By, if now 11, 10 minutes, 11. So, by 10 minutes to 12, I want to close our prophesy. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to pay attention because I have to teach a little. Proverbs chapter 30, may the Lord have a blessing upon his word. He may the word go forth and it will accomplish what is sent to do. It will convert, it will be healed, it will heal and deliver you. In Jesus' name. Amen. The soul of the Son of God desire it and have nothing. But the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. And he's speaking of the soul, not the body now. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we go in the definition. I hope that the coordinator here with me. Amen. The definition of slugger being lazy or slow. Amen. And we put up a little note here. Slugful people tend to Sleep too much and lie around on the couch. Being slothful at work could get you fly up fire, sorry. And slothful students won't do well at school. It's the same way if you're slothful here tonight, you won't do well tonight by receiving. I want to see all those who come for something. Whenever you come, go to school, you go for knowledge. Ain't it? You go for knowledge. You go for teaching. Amen. Amen. When you come to church, you come for what? Amen. The Spirit of the Lord speak to us in words of wisdom, in words of knowledge, and in prophecy. Amen. Amen. The word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, and the words a prophecy. You know, prophecy tell you what is, what is to come, and even the past. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So if you come tonight and you allow other things to distract you from the word, then you won't be able to receive the word to take you to the next level. If you are touching it, but if you are powerful in your mind, you will be powerful in your life. Amen. Some people are good fighters. They love in the midst of my love quarrel and fight. Powerful in, in fighting. They don't ever be powerful in wisdom, you hear? Amen. Amen. So we need wisdom, so we have to get our mind on the things that will feed us in getting where we ought to be. Get, let's go to diligent. Remember, if you are slow or lazy in your mind, and I explain to you where the soul is. The soul is the subconsciousness. Amen? 
So when you speak of the art, at times you're speaking of the soul. Because if they take all the art, they can put a bunch of art in you and you still it. You're not talking literally art, you mean the soul of you. Amen? Amen. Amen. I, I'm, let us get to the soul. Let me take the diligent and get to the soul. Don't go ahead of myself. Careful, diligent means careful and art working. If you are diligent worker, you don't just back away at your job. Don't walk over your job. Don't walk over the church. Don't give up. Tell your neighbor, don't give up. Don't give up. Say it, man. Don't give up. Don't give up. And you try your ever best to do everything right. You try your ever best to be obedient. You try your ever best to be peace. You can't do ever best to be to love one another, but you know if you love one another, you are like to say. I'm I'm getting rid of every time they just bring the wrong. You have some people will worry other people and want you to join them. In a captivity, I am you blessing? Let me explain that a little bit. I need to understand it. My daughter, you don't eat it up tonight, yeah? The Bible says if you bring your gift to the altar and you find that you have a wicked against your brother or your brother have a wicked against you, leave your gift of the altar, go reconcile with your brother and sister.
Yeah. 
I'm a father, you want no responsibility concerning the children. I'm a mother, you want no responsibility concerning the children. And if you play your role, your children can't stop you from being blessed. If them turn around and be ungrateful to you, they can't stop you from being blessed. And if anyone remember them in yourself, I'm going to preach love and unity and oneness and preach righteousness. And you want to go to the in something else, they can't blame you. Let me tell you something to every blessing there must be. 
very proof. Thank you now, good punish all your sweet prefers.
change you know. Some woman not change neither. God have an infection that kill them then still at your woman now. And then come and they kill me. The help Lord, help Lord. The help Lord, the change, change, change. You do me the change, 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 man. You have to have attitude, change. Yeah, so much issue. But when you go in the bathroom till five o'clock, six o'clock 
minutes to come now. Listen. I want to lift up those hands. Look at it. Look at it good. God, we are changing those hands now. Is it something to look at it? Is it not all disobedient? Look at it. We can we can anoint those hands representing your works. Hallelujah. Those hands are gonna change. Those hands are gonna change. The good things are gonna be done by those hands. The poor are gonna be fed by those hands. And because of the phone, you have to answer the phone to leave over the church can, can take call. Those hands are gonna tap to those things, shit people. To get the money. Tell them until you love them and you don't love them. Those hands are gonna change. to be in those hands. You don't want that. Yes, Married ring going to be in those hands. You don't want that. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to get married. I am mourning over the church. Because I'm mourning over the stubbornness, the stubbornness at the heart of the people. That righteousness is before them, holiness is before them, and they will check holiness, they will check righteousness. And they accept the filth of the world. They will check holy men of God and accept murderers. Keep it by us. And away with Jesus. That what you are saying if you reject God tonight. I mean, cheating you, man and woman of God, to change. And if you don't change, you're going to feel it. You become poor who work with a lazy hands. This is for the ministry, ministry pinnacle. We must not tell you in the in the bishop apps. We not bishop up. Minister now and send a word in there to somebody. We must not tell you that. You into a church. You come in a church. You are supposed to know. You must come on it and, and check up on your pastors there. You must look at the church and know what the church needs and do your ever best come up with ideas and vision how to make money to fix up the church. Some people can offer nothing to the church because you are bound up in too much things of the world and pleasures of the world and the mind is so corrupt and it brings you down into poverty. Some of you are poor today. Even if the Lord bless you, you don't even look at the blessing of the Lord. You show the blessing of the Lord. And call it nothing. You are here tonight. Praise God for that. Hallelujah. Praise God for that. Hallelujah. You have to change. You have to change. There is a dead end and a, and a time when enough is enough. When your sin reaches the natural of the Lord, enough is enough. You give in and you give sparingly and expect to receive in abundance. 
You serve in the ministry and you serve in the department. Let me tell you something. If I can remove you from your post because somebody tell you lie, can I tell you lie you, or cut me up you, you are not worthy for your post. No peace, no politics. No powers. No things present. No things to pass. Can separate me. No house. No land. No car. No money. Friend of family. Near or far. No family neither. Because someone who is a foreign man, I saw the reach of foreign, who is a doctor of a church. Who is a member of a church, he gives all the people who make some big promises in the church. If they go in a foreign, who are going to lose in the church. Never fulfill the promise. Lift your hands up. These hands follow our Father Lord. It's only one of you. Got one hand. Look up for the one. These hands follow our Father Lord. And we are going to bless these hands tonight. And I'm going to bless these hands. I'm going to speak a word over these hands. I know there are a lot of hands. So we're going to maybe use three lines. But every hand tonight is going to be blessed. And we're going to pray the curse of power. Offer your hands. But you have to praise God with those hands. You have to give to the poor with those hands. You have to pay your tithes and your offering with those hands. Can I help you, somebody? You have to talk to those hands tight. Use those hands, serve the Lord, with a text every morning to somebody, find somebody where you need. And text them and encourage them to come. Find somebody, hallelujah, we are lonely and, and, and going through a rough time and encourage them to come. Can I help you somebody here? You text them who you love and who you want to be around, who you the friend. You are being and talk to a your sister that is a love. <laughs> I want all the females just clear to look, look at your hands and say, No, no, I'm, I'm gonna do better with these hands. Come on. I'm gonna do better with these hands. I'm gonna be creative with these hands. I'm gonna let these hands work for me. I'm gonna make some money with these hands. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna make some money with these hands. Come on. Stand up away, stand up away. I'm gonna pick up the praise God with those hands right now. Let the Holy Ghost fall and it's gonna praise God. We don't sound sweat out of our face now. That you may be charitable to any of you. Who did? I'm coming on my watch you man. Paul was saying, whatever I have done, I deserve the blessing. I will not do nothing that will diminish my blessings. Can I help somebody here? Come on, Jesus. Come on over here. I will not do nothing that will cause God not to bless me. I want when the blessing reach me, I deserve it. I want to deserve the blessings. When it hit me, I don't want this hand to hurt my brother blood on it. God, I murder my brother and this is size and my body. I destroy 
somebody life. So the blood is on the hands. Now do I want to destroy somebody relationship. Can I somebody help me right here? I want these hands to be a blessing. And anything that I put my hands to, it must work. It must work. Believe God, but Chubby is so. He 
Daddy, the fella slow your hand. Prince, very quick. Travis is the pastor. Prince is the deacon, but Prince, very quick. If I prophesy to him, it happened in no time. If I prophesy to Travis, it takes time for it to happen. Too slow. Your faith must be quick to receive what God has for you. Buy a new car and sell it at home and buy a new car. I see where you are checking some stuff like you're just checking and leaving. You're going to go, please check and leave. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Listen, I see, I'm going to children, I see. 
I see the bit of land and see like about four to five, six. Whoa. What? Yeah. We see it right now. Shop is 